Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing another video on how to look taller and slimmer using different outfits and some new ideas. You guys said back when I first started these that you'd love to see it as a series, so I've loved to be able to play with the different seasons and just kind of experimenting with new ideas. So let's get started. And for reference, I'm five foot one, which is around 155 centimeters. So the first dress that I'm going to wear is kind of like a higher dress. It's something that already is gonna help me because it is above the knee. I'd like to be able to get it tailored though and just bring it up like one or two inches to just kind of emphasize that. This is out of the box, so it might be perfect for you, but for me, I definitely need to bring like all of my clothes to the tailors. <laughs> One thing about this dress too is that I'm wearing it with a turtleneck underneath that is very thin, but it does add a little bit more height adding it with a turtleneck. So I'm gonna be transforming this outfit to be more winter appropriate and then a lot taller. So first I'm going to be adding some tights and because this is a monochrome look that always is going to help, these tights don't have feet in the end, which is sometimes nice depending on this type of shoe that you're going to be wearing or if you need a different type of sock. It's just kind of preference probably. But I do like the fact that this is going to make this look absolutely a whole lot warmer too. Not only is this outfit going to be monochrome, but it's all black as well, which black is a very slimming color. For shoes, I'm going to go with something that's very tall. Um, so these are my Cezanne boots that I wear just all the time this season. It's been excellent to be able to throw these on. And they do add literal height, so there's no optical illusion here. I'm just adding adding like three to four inches to my overall height. <laughs> In this video, I will also be doing an outfit without heels just for reference, so stay tuned. Next, I'm gonna add a belt. And I played around with this idea. I love to be able to cinch my natural waist with a belt, but when this outfit has a mini skirt more or less, I'm going to be actually bringing this belt up, just scooting it up one or two inches above my natural waist. And what that's going to do is it's going to take that skirt, the skirt portion of my dress is going to make that a lot longer appearing just by moving the belt up. So it's just kind of an optical illusion. It's not my thinnest point, but I'm okay with that because it's going to make me look a lot taller. Next, because this outfit is very like classic and basic with the color scheme, I'm just going to add a lot of jewelry to this. So I've got about three necklaces that I want to add that also complement the color of the belt. Like right on the front, it's like gold belt. And I've got my gold jewelry and and it's just accentuating each other. One of the necklaces is longer, and any time that you can add a V here, it's going to really help you look longer, especially if you have a shorter torso. Next, I'm adding a beret, and this is really just for fun. It's not gonna make me look any different, except the style is, I think, a lot more put together when I'm adding this. It almost has like a 60s or 70s type of vibe to it that I really love. By the way, I'm linking everything down in the description below, so I'll you'll find different options for like similar, more affordable, um, all that stuff. And the next coat that I'm wearing with this is something that is out of stock, but I found a way to wear it all winter long, so I'm not apologizing. <laughs> I am going to link something similar though in the description for you guys. But the key here is to find a jacket that is long. So one thing that I get asked a lot is, is it okay to wear long jackets as a petite? And the answer is yes. The thing is that you don't want something to hit you mid thigh, mid knee, like it's better to have something that is um, either like cropped or really, really long. Those are your best bets for looking taller. Of course, not every single coat is going to match exactly what you want, but these videos for looking taller are just kind of examples of how to best dress for you and your body style. So why a longer coat works is because you're not going to break up your body at all. Like you're going to keep one long line and it's just going to add that optical illusion of looking taller. So the petite rules that this outfit hits, which I, I hate that there's even rules. They're really just guidelines anyway. <laughs> but what they are is it's monochrome. I'm wearing tall heels in a matching color. My belt is cinching my waist. I'm wearing a really long coat to not break up my body and then my dress is hitting me above the knee. 
This outfit, at first, I was thinking that it wasn't going to go together well at all. In fact, I'm really happy with the way that it looks right off the bat. It reminds me of like a really chic circus. <laughs> I think why I like it is because each one of these pieces are ones that I really love. So the top is a beautiful, very feminine shirt that's from Cezanne, and then the pants are from Elizabeth Suzanne. They're very lovely linen pants that are just light and breezy and beautiful. And then the shoes are so new ones that I have from Everlane. They are the Everlane Day Glove in black and I just love the black color. It looks like anything that a Disney princess would wear or Audrey Hepburn, you know, the usual. <laughs> But the way that I'm wearing this outfit right now would be great for lounging or whatever, but it's not doing me any favors to look taller or slimmer, so let's transform it. As much as I love these shoes, for this outfit in particular, I'm going to swap them out with my flats that are pointed and they're nude. So if you ever wanna look taller in flats, I've got a video about that. <laughs> but this was one of the key takeaways. It has to be a nude shoe or something that matches your skin tone or your pants or your socks or whatever you're wearing. And then also the shoe, when it's a flat, it needs to be pointed. And then real quick, just a couple of things I always do is I tuck in my shirt and then I wear jewelry. So both of these things are really important to making just every outfit look a lot classier, more put together, and definitely taller. I like to wear high-waisted pants so that it, tucking in my shirt is never going to like come out or be a problem. On the other hand, if you're one of those people who has a shorter torso compared to your legs and you want to look more more proportional, then I would say to stick to a mid-rise pant. I just have like a longer torso, so this is definitely where I like to live. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be adding my very longest coat I own, which is just a linen jacket. I really love it. It just goes like almost all the way to the floor. I really like this too because it's beige, which is not only a trending color, but it's a personal favorite of mine. And this whole outfit looks essentially monochrome because it's different shades of beige all the way to white. Because it's long and because it's monochrome, this outfit is not going to break up my body at all and it's going to give the illusion of looking taller, even though I'm wearing flats with this. And then just for fun and because it's winter time, I actually want to add a little hat. It's nice to be able to have something in the same color scheme, but I will say that this is not an outfit to wear when it's freezing cold outside. This is more for like if you live in a warmer climate or if you are just generally like warm natured <laughs> or if you just really like linen. I like to wear linen all year long and for my climate and because I'm inside a lot of the day, I don't think that it really hurts to wear linen. The nice thing about wearing a hat is that it is going to add a little bit more literal height to my overall look. So that's just going to make me more in the 5'4 range even though I'm still wearing flats. So the rules of this outfit are that one, I wanna look monochrome with my outfit and the different pieces that I have in it. Two, I wanna wear pointed flats, if I'm going to wear flats, and they have to be nude if I wanna look taller. Three is to wearing a long coat. Four is I'm wearing high-waisted pants, and they're also cropped, by the way, which also helps. And five, I'm wearing a hat for a few more inches. So this one is going to be quite the transformation. This was me a few years ago, really. This is how I dressed. Uh, one thing that I loved to do was wear flare jeans and like bell bottoms, but they were always low rise. They weren't high rise. Um, so at least this time around, I'm wearing high rise and you can't even see that at the moment. So I'll get to it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just wearing a silk top with flare jeans. And the first thing that I wanna do is tuck in my top. I also want to unbutton it to make more of a V-neck. And then also I'm gonna be rolling up my sleeves. Just by doing this, it's going to make this shirt look like it fits me a lot better and that it's not even like that oversized and also I like the fact that whenever I wear a button-down shirt I just like to be able to flatten that collar out and get that v-neck going a lot more plus anytime that I show a little bit of skin it's gonna look a lot more like grown up and just has a little bit more of a feminine flair to it next I'm adding boots and these boots don't have a huge heel on them like before these ones have probably like a couple inches and so that's gonna help me me a little bit but the thing about flare jeans is that it's good if you get ones that grace the bottom of the ground almost and these ones do that um, a thing that you should note though is that if your shoes aren't tall enough then the flares are going to buckle a little bit and that's gonna make them look a little bit more like your character in Scooby-Doo you 
don't want that. You want to have just a long, elegant line, which is what I'm going for with these pants. So my thoughts on flare jeans are, I think that it works really well if you want to look taller, which is why I'm adding it to this video. But I think that it'll work even better if you have a little bit less of a hip than I do. I think that this one isn't necessarily making me look slimmer, although I really like the look of it, especially with a coat, which I'll get to in a second. So the one thing that you should remember though is to keep them long and try to make them touch the ground. Don't let them buckle, but also it's really hard to find just the right length as a petite, which is why these ones I particularly bought because they come in a size short. So that's gonna mean that it's going to start billowing out right at my knee. It won't be that it goes too far below my knee before it starts flaring out. So that's really important. So wherever you get your flare jeans from, just make sure that it actually is for your height. So for this outfit, I also want to add a belt. I feel like it just brings the whole outfit together more. Uh, I'm not convinced that it's actually making me look like taller necessarily in this case, but it definitely pulls the whole outfit together, which is why I love it. Next, I'm adding a vintage coat. This is something I've had for a while and I just am so drawn to it. It makes for a perfect coat if it's a, like a very cold day outside because it's nice and thick and warm and wool. But why I like this one in particular is because it cinches at the waist. But overall, I think that this is a great coat. I wish it was just a little bit longer for really trying to make myself look taller, but I do love the way that it has a little bit of a more of a structured look to it, which complements the, the contrast between it and the flare jeans. Um, there were other coats I tried with this outfit and they looked a little bit too frumpy and something like that wouldn't work with pants like these that already have a mind of their own. <laughs> so the rules that really this outfit is hitting is that these pants are high-waisted. I feel like they mimic stilts where I've, it looks like I'm wearing stilts underneath. You can't really tell quite where my, how, like how tall my shoes are and I think that it's really good for just making your leg look as long as it can. Next is I'm wearing what is essentially a v-neck with the way that I'm wearing my button-down shirt. I'm wearing heels with this outfit which always helps and adds literal height. My shirt is tucked in and then finally I'm cinching at my natural waist. And those are my three outfits to look taller. I hope that you liked it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.